Hey everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going over the difference between the two effects caused by a price change, income effect and substitution effect, providing an example of each type of statement. With that said, let's get started. So if you're an econ student at any level or even just generally interested in economics, there's a good chance that you've heard of something called the law of demand. As prices increase, quantity demanded of a good decreases and vice versa. Therefore, the relationship between price and quantity demanded is negative and the demand curve has a negative slope. This relationship causes two effects, the substitution effect and the income effect. Substitution effect refers to the concept that as the price of a good rises, we tend to substitute away from that expensive good and towards cheaper goods if possible. For example, if the price of a name brand cereal rises, many people will buy the cheaper off-brand or no-name brands instead. On the other hand, if the price of the name brand cereal falls, then consumers will start to substitute towards the name brand and away from those no-name cereals instead. Next we have the income effect, and this refers to the change in your real income or your purchasing power. As the price of a good rises, buyers must pay more to receive the same amount and as a result, their real income has decreased and they buy less, resulting in a decrease in quantity demanded. For example, if you have $5 to spend on candy and each candy costs 25 cents, then obviously you can purchase 20 pieces of candy. However, suppose that you have $5, but the price of candy doubles and now each piece costs 50 cents. Well, now you can only purchase 10 pieces of candy. Even though your income remained constant at $5, your purchasing power or your real income has decreased when the price of the good, in this case candy, increased. So there you have it. Now you know the difference between substitution effect and income effect. In the future, we will make videos on how to calculate how much of a decrease in demand due to a price increase is substitution effect and how much of that decrease is income effect. So stay tuned for that video. Just as a reminder, our giveaway will be live until the end of November when we select one lucky student to claim the prize. So if you want to enter that, check out the description and our previous video. Thanks for all the support you've shown. And as usual, if you liked the video and are excited to see more, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and comment what sort of economic topics you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll catch you in the next.